with all this sunshine around and uh, the roof being slightly covered by trees where we parked up uh, I thought I'd get the uh, Sunstore solar suitcase um, solar panel out and, and then you know, the sun sort of over that way so I can and the guy in the in front in the van in front has got his uh, 100 watt solar panel just propped facing the sun and I think you know that's what that's what we're gonna do but where to connect it up now previously I'd had it connected up to the batteries in the battery compartment outside so it was very easy to put a crocodile clip on the positive terminal crocodile clip on the negative terminal at either end of the battery bank and give all the batteries a bit of a charge up but we've got a single battery and lots of wires and fuses and protection in place so I'm a little less certain uh, about where to connect these up certainly the negative is pretty simple and let me show you where that is I'll just flip you around here um, show you the this is the 200 amp hour lithium battery and it has a single connection for the negative a single connection for the positive um, the positive cable goes out down into that area there where there is a fuse that's where that light is shining there and uh, for the negative we've got the uh, we've got the battery monitoring shunt here so all the negative so the battery negative cable comes down and fixes to that side of the shunt and all the other negative connections go to the other side of the shunt and the battery monitoring cable sits in the middle just monitoring all of that power going in and out that's probably where I'm going to connect up well definitely where I'm going to connect up the negative side of the um, cable and the positive side I'll probably connect to um, the fused side of the battery cable so I'll just sort of pop that cover off and connect it onto there uh, while it's running and then I can run the cables up uh, and out of the window so that you know it's all it's all there and working so once I've got all that connected up I can show you what a difference uh, that 100 watt uh, panel can make because I've got uh, here I mean this it's a clear blue sky the Sun's pretty pretty good it's nice and warm and that's the sort of uh, power that we're getting in um, so you'll see there it's only sitting at um, a third of an amp just there so um, hopefully the extra 100 watt panel connected to the negative side of the shunt will give me a better uh, reading on what the actual power coming in now I know uh, I know the panel is not going to be Bluetooth so I won't be able to see the panel itself um, and I can see the panels so the the 200 amp uh, sorry the 200 watt panel is currently getting 15 watts off of a you know but it's, it's mostly it's mostly covered by trees and this was the best this was the best spot I could get but you know let's see how we go so having connected up the solar panel and you can see where it's uh, situated now the Sun is shining directly on it and we're getting five five amps in 5.2 but that's 0.2 from the um, panels on the roof and five amps from a hundred watt panel pointed directly at the sunshine so if you ever wondered what was more efficient or effective as a solar panel roof mounted or portable and bear in mind that uh, that's got a 
that has a PMW um, charge controller built in rather than these uh, the MPPT so that that solar panel outside not going through these MPPTs is coming in uh, I've just fed the cable through the window because it's a it's a short cable um, and what I've done is there's a there's a little tail with the crocodile clips on that plugs in and out so the crocodile clip for the negative is on the shunt and the other one's down there on the fuse so um, all nicely protected and I can unplug it from there and then put it away when when we travel and leave that in situ so um, we're now uh, getting five amps in to the battery and that's uh, this is the sort of built-in battery monitor but I, t I tend not to use that I use the Bluetooth uh, thing to uh, to see what sort of power we've got coming in going out um, and the the battery monitor uh, well I use the battery monitor mostly but then sometimes I'll I'll look at the battery uh, the, the battery itself to see what state the cells are in and I can I can say that the the batteries at 13 13.4 volts and each cell is at 3.35 they're, they're not all the same one's at 3.34 two are at 3.36 and one's at 3.35 so um, that's that's just because they're you know they're they'll never be all the same it's just the way batteries work so um, really really good demonstration of the sort of the power of those uh, portable solar panels and you'll see how how bright it is yeah we're shaded by the trees here and you can see um, you know our solar panel at the back is shaded by that tree there so that panel then you can see the other guy yeah, there's another solar panel down the way there as well so you know really really popular thing to do and um, I got this one, this solar panel came from, we were at a show and we went to see the people at uh, Sunstore Solar and uh, bought that, it was a 165 quid show special or show discount, um, so that was, that was really good and I'm not, the, the, the thing about the, the portable is that doesn't really need an MPPT um, charge controller because it's not being uh, it's not being shaded or you know partially covered like the ones on the roof would be um, so the MPPT will find the maximum power that it can grab out and then default upwards to that whereas the M the PMW Sort of finds almost the minimum uh, amount of power that's that's coming and goes to that but because it's because that solar panel is angled and directed towards the sun it's probably always at the maximum so um, you know getting five watts getting five amps out of it is blooming brilliant so I'm really really pleased with that and uh, well there you go so if you're thinking about you know roof mounted or portable i'd go portable if that if you've only got one choice i mean we've gone both um just because of the history of where we were with various bits so uh, so there we are anyway hope you enjoyed that and uh, if you have give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to continue following us around our various visits to lots of airs Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.